Hello fellow food lovers. Today I will be making mapo tofu or as is commonly known as spicy tofu and ground pork stir fry and I will be including green olives with this. You will need half a pound of ground pork, two blocks of firm tofu, two green onion, and half a cup of green olive. For the sauce, you're going to need one tablespoon of fava bean and chili sauce. The Chinese name is doubanjiang. One tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of chicken powder, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon sesame oil, one tablespoon Chinese black vinegar, and one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. So here is the half pound of ground pork. two blocks of firm tofu and green olives and two green onion so we're gonna slice up the green onion so it's gonna be more like a garnish So we have the wok on high heat. You want to make sure it's nice and hot before you add the oil. Then we're going to pour in two tablespoons of cooking oil. Then we're going to add the ground pork. Make sure to swirl the wok a bit so the bottom is coated with the oil. So you want to break up the pork so it's kind of evenly uh, covering the bottom of the wok. So you want to cook it until it's about halfway cooked and it's nice and browned. Okay, so five minutes has come by. We're going to stir it up a bit more. And then we're going to add the fava bean and chili sauce. So this is one of two major ingredients that's used in Shoshuan cooking. Um, so it gives the Shoshuan food a spicy kick. And it's basically chilies combined with um, ground up fava beans and it's fermented. And the other ingredient that's commonly used in Shoshuan cooking is Shoshuan peppercorns. But, um, I'm not going to use it. I like the kick from the fava bean and chili paste, but the Shoshan peppercorns gives you a mouth numbing taste and it's an acquired taste and everyone likes it so I'm not putting it in. But if you do like it, you could put it in now. You can take uh, ground up Shoshan peppercorns and you can add between half to a full teaspoon. Or you can buy Shoshan peppercorn oil, which is oil that's infused with Shoshan peppercorn. So you can add a teaspoon of that as well. I don't recommend putting whole peppercorns into the Shoshan, uh, whole Shoshan peppercorns into the stir fry, because you'll be picking it out when you're eating later on. It's definitely an acquired taste, something I don't have. 
Okay, so I'm going to add a cup of cold water. I'm going to start making the sauce now. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of the chicken powder. So we added the fava bean and chili paste before I added the water because you want to kind of stir fry the paste a bit and it really brings out the flavor of, of the fava bean and chili paste. So, so add that first before you add the water and stir fry it a bit. Okay, so after we add the teaspoon of chicken powder, we're going to add a tablespoon of oyster sauce. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce. And a tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar. This gives a really unique flavor profile to the sauce. It's definitely worth adding in for sure. And all these sauces, if you can't find them in your grocery store, you can find them in a Chinese or an Asian grocery store for sure. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. Stir it around, have the sauces mix in with the water. So we're kind of finishing up cooking the ground pork in the sauce. Okay, so we're going to make the cornstarch slurry to thicken up the sauce with. So we're going to take one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. We're going to add a quarter cup of water to that, cold water, and then we're going to stir it up, make sure the cornstarch is all dissolved. Okay, once the meat and the sauce is kind of cooked, we're going to add the tofu. So I like to make three layers, cut three layers, and I like to cut three across and then three down. It makes nice cubes. So we're gonna do that with both, both blocks of tofu. So tofu in the package is, you can eat it raw, or it's already cooked, I guess. You can eat it as is, straight out of the package. But <coughs> when you make the mafo tofu, you wanna make sure that <coughs> You want to make sure that the tofu is thoroughly heated up. So you want to stir it around in the sauce, and then as it's heated up, you want to bring up the cooked tofu from the bottom and have the tofu on the top uh, move downwards so that it's all cooked in the, in the, in the sauce. So the sauce looked a little dry, so I added another uh, half cup of water. So anytime during your stir frying, if you find that the water is getting a little low, just add more water. And then I'm going to add about half a cup of green olives. So mapo tofu is a pretty saucy dish. It's really good with rice, so you want to make sure that there's a lot of sauce when you make this dish. So stir that up, mix the olives in with the rest of the ingredients.
So mapo tofu is a pretty famous uh, dish from Sichuan, China. Its flavor profiles is hot or spicy and mouth numbing, and that's from basically the two ingredients: uh, fava bean and chili paste, and the Sichuan peppercorns, which I've omitted from this dish. But again, like I said, you can add it earlier on when you're stir frying the meat if you're into the mouth numbing experience. The Sichuan peppercorns. Okay, so the dish is pretty much done, so we're going to thicken it now. So I stirred up the cornstarch slurry, make sure that's dissolved, and then I poured it into the stir fry. So when you add the cornstarch slurry, you want to start mixing up the ingredients as soon as possible. If you wait before mixing it, sometimes the cornstarch will clump up and it will make it very ugly looking for your stir fry. Yeah, so mix it nicely and then it's pretty much ready to serve. Okay, turn off the heat and then we're gonna spoon the dish into the Pyrex glass pie plate. So this dish traditionally doesn't uh, have green olives in it, but I find that olives go really well with tofu and ground pork. It's just not a traditional Chinese ingredient, but uh, definitely I think it really heightens uh, the taste of the uh, mapo tofu. Okay, so we're gonna top it off with the sliced up green onions. And then it's uh, ready to serve. So as I said, it's a really great dish to eat with rice. It's very saucy and the soft tofu and the ground pork, really nice with rice. Not to mention it's a very easy and simple dish to make. It's, you can make it in 10 minutes easily. Okay, bon appetit.